WTAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. We had those scattered showers and thunderstorms earlier this afternoon really came down in some spots and we had some gusty winds actually knocked out power to Eastland Peter Township. Power's back on across much of the area over Lancaster, but we're seeing round number two of some scattered showers return out there across the Susquehanna Valley. Taking a live look at this hour over effort at still 77 degrees and the dew points are sitting in the 60s. But there are some signs of change out there. Super Doppler 8 is starting to see the return of those isolated showers right now starting to form a broken line from Pottsville to just to the north of Harrisburg, right along the high ridge tops in northern portions of Dauphin County and in Lebanon County, just outside of Linglestown toward Grand in Jonestown, right along 81 and 78 split there. We have some heavier downpours. This will continue over the next couple of hours. This is right along that cold front. I do expect the front to continue to move to the southeast and our rain chances will taper off after midnight. So we've got Denver in the background here in Lancaster County. We'll see just the chance of an isolated shower till roughly midnight, but then the clouds will start to decrease and then back behind that cold front is cooler and dry Canadian air. And that's going to be around all day tomorrow. So first thing in the morning to be comfortable with lots of sunshine with temperatures primarily in the upper 70s. Tomorrow afternoon looks great. Highs return to the lower 80s. It's going to feel good out there across the Susquehanna Valley thanks to that lower humidity around. Pollen count would be back up to a moderate level. The grasses and the weeds will be the major players out there. Make sure you lather up if you're going to be out there for tomorrow afternoon with that sunscreen. The UV index rises back up to a nine. Today's high out at Harrisburg International Airport was 86 degrees. The low this morning was 66. Just had a trace reported out of Harrisburg. But again, we talked about how these areas were, uh, these thunderstorms were scattered across the area. Look at Quarryville in Lancaster County, just under an inch and a third of rain, just over uh, three quarters of an inch in Fairview in York County, Peckway, Lancaster County, about four tenths of an inch of rain. Temperatures are still warm at this hour. It is 77 if you're watching us in Lancaster, currently 79 in Harrisburg and 76 at this hour in Carlisle. But look at the dew points. Lower 60s we're dropping back into the upper 50 towards Lewistown gets even lower than that back into the 40s back towards Detroit. So that's where the cool Canadian air is moving down from. It's going to be with us for much of the weekend ahead. So watch what happens here on the predictor. By midnight the front is off to our east. Skies will clear out late overnight tonight making for a beautiful Saturday with lots of sunshine. The core of the high moves directly overhead late Saturday night to Sunday. We'll see some signs of change first in the form of some cloud cover late on Sunday, and then all eyes are back over the mid Ohio River Valley as we see a storm system develop back towards Paducah. This could give us some passing showers and thunderstorms, unfortunately, on 4th of July. So at the beach over the next couple of days, chances for showers and thunderstorms are nil until Monday. If you are heading to the Bay tomorrow, Chesapeake Bay waters, temperatures of the waters will be in the 70s, but the air temperature will be right around 84 degrees, and the high tide will be right around 5.53 in the evening. Great weather across the Susquehanna Valley over the next couple of days. Chances for some passing showers and thunderstorms will remain in the forecast to Tuesday, but then notice the temperatures. We start warming up to near 90 degrees heading into Thursday and Friday. Well, that's a pretty decent weekend for yeah. everybody, I think. All right, good work, Ethan.